Welcome my friends, welcome to the Max Afterburner channel. I am inside an F-16 simulator. In my opinion, one of the most realistic so far that I've come across simulators that you know you can buy and have in your own house. So I'm gonna be reviewing that, I'm pulling up and doing some close formation work on my wingman here as we do that. Might not get as close as the, uh, the Thunderbirds do, but I'll show you kind of the position you would fly and what some of the catches are and things that I may or may have not learn the hard way and we'll, we'll replicate that and see if the sim is able to do that. So when you're flying close formation, the tendency is to over control. So I like how, you know, I'm keeping the flight path vector on the horizon and my wingman's staying on the horizon because he's probably doing the exact same thing. So calm, cool, collected, smoke a lucky as my flight instructor Grinch in the F-15 used to say. And you just wanna chill. So here we are, we're chilling in fingertip position. You'd use this to kind of get through the weather, things like that. This Viper is loaded out. So it's uh, loaded to the teeth and just ready to rock, air to air, air to ground, uh, capable. And we'll kind of pull up next to it, take a peek at it uh, here. The key is just chill, like calm, cool, and collected. We don't wanna get, we don't wanna get too crazy, right? We don't wanna to get too excited. I'm kind of right over top of him right now, so I'm gonna check a little bit over. I'd be looking over this side to see him come out the other end. Cool, no big deal, no big deal. Now, the thing you could get into trouble with is if you get into a PIO, which is a pitch-induced oscillation. So I'll kind of replicate one of those right now. So that's when you kind of you look one way. Oh, you're going up and down. Now your wingman's moving up and all around. You're like, oh, how do I get out of this? The key is just let it go. The Viper actually seeks 1G, so that was kind of nice how you saw that I just let go and the Viper seeks 1G, just tries to stay steady. There goes our wingman. See you, bro. Go get him. <laughs> so nice and steady there, as you can tell. We'll see him launch something here pretty soon, I'm thinking. We'll just kind of chill down here, have a good stadium seat for the launch of this air-to-ground weapon, whatever he's launching off. Nice. And there he goes. He's checking away. And we'll kind of just hang out here in what's called a close trail position. There he goes, launching some more stuff. Nice. So yeah, the handling of it seems pretty good so far. He's gonna descend pretty rapidly now. We'll do a little maneuver over the top as he shoots that last one. Cool. That's fun, little barrel roll around the missile. Always a good time. And the key here is just, you know, I'm seeing how this thing responds. It seems pretty solid. I mean, when you put the stick where you want it and stick it, it seems to kind of hold position, which is awesome. Uh, and then I like the bubble canopy. Obviously, it's replicated very well. Lots of visibility. This thing's just built for dogfighting. Speaking of that, stick around at the end of the video, and I will do a dogfight, show you guys just some, uh, some goodness, some fighting there. So let's see how this thing bleeds energy. Put the throttle to max AB. Pull it around. Oh yeah, just a sweet looking jet, as you can see, very capable aircraft. It's loaded out with the 229 engine, the modern F-16s are like the Block 52s, and that is a beast of an engine. That's got 29,000 pounds of thrust, crazy amounts of horsepower. I mean, it's just a rocket ship to fly. So I loved flying that thing. And as you can see, super maneuverable here in the sim as well, which I like. Now here's where you'd really want to get on your G-strain. We're pulling 8.5 Gs low to the deck. Throw the throttle up. It's bleeding energy pretty fast. However, now we are, here we are. Let's try to get to like 7 Gs, 8 Gs, 450. Yeah, it's probably bleeding energy because of the stores. We've got air to ground stores on the jet, but it does seem like it's bleeding a little bit fast on the energy side of things. But, oh man, it's just super responsive. I mean, even with an air to ground loadout, carrying weapons and things like that, it's just extremely nimble, which is great. Let's do a loop here. Throw it into max afterburner. Kind of a little bit of a muscle climb. And I'm gonna ease towards the top. Let's see if we have the energy to pull it around. Yeah, we do. We've got 6,000 feet, We're kind of off kilter there. I'll go and keep it in max afterburner and we'll just continue to pull this thing around. It's gonna be a tight one but this will kind of give you an idea of the maneuverability of the Viper. Now I'm gonna get on the pole, five Gs. There we go, now let's just fly out of this thing. There we go, sporty baby. That's how we like it. <laughs> I 
Maneuverability is great. The turn rate's awesome. Let's just do a couple aileron rolls here and see how fast it turns. Yeah, I think it would actually turn a little bit faster. That was full stick deflection. So I think it would probably turn a little bit faster, maybe a little quicker of a roll rate would be what I'd be looking for. All right, here we are in a dogfight which with what looks to be a Su-27. The key is to act quickly because this thing is a beast to fight against. So I'm gonna try to get a gunshot pretty fast. Drug them right down the funnel there, as you can see. And you just have to mean business. You have to say, look, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna sit here and just let you maneuver. I'm gonna make this happen ASAP. Let's see how we can get the kill. Again, getting the kill fast and making sure that you're not letting this bandit get more maneuvering than they should be getting. You just have to act quick with a threat like the Su-27. So here he is. There we go. So quick kill, and that's what I want. I'm like, hey man, if you're not gonna flex, you're not gonna move around, you're not gonna move around, then I am going to take advantage of that and take you down. ASAP. Let's do one more. All right, here we are in the third engagement. This is more like slightly high aspect is what I would call this. I'm going to go max afterburner here. We got a lock on him initially, but this is not going to be as easy. So I'm keeping my speed up. I got him up there. I'm going to point to where he's going to be. So this is where he's going to be. We're still a little rangy for a shot, but I'm going to take it anyway. I'm going to pull lead. Wait for him to fly into it. Ah, see, missed him there. That's all right. I'm going to ease off for a second, let him go down, and then try the same thing again. Just tucking it in behind him. There he is in the funnel. Boom. And his wing is gone. And he got out. Good, he ejected. Nice. All right, so he got out on that one. That's always good to see. Uh, that was a MiG-29. Again, just awesome to see the Viper uh, in action in this sim. I think the gun funnel works really well. And then again, it's aggressiveness, getting the fangs to the floor and getting the shot, and the Viper's built for that. This thing was built for basic fighter maneuvers. John Boyd was one of the original designers of this thing, and he said, I don't care about anything else. I just want it to be a solid dogfighter, and I think he's certainly done that. The Sim's doing a good recreation of the dogfighting. We'll do some more dogfightings down the road. Thanks so much for watching. The best compliment you can give me is just watch another video. It would really mean a lot, and you can dominate that like button if you'd like. Every time you dominate the like button, a MiG-29 somewhere gets shot down by a Viper. Thanks for watching, everybody. Most of all, have a great day.